Now listen. Let me tell you something. This is the Last Jedi spoiler review, and it's late as fuck. And we're not going to do what everyone thinks we're going to do. We're not going to do what everybody else does. We're not going to pick this apart. We're not going to break it down. Because let's just be honest. There's more sober, better, smarter channels that you can go to to have them do that. We're just going to talk. We're just going to talk just about talk. this. And look, we're we... just going to be two men. Yeah, just talk. Just two men. I am. Naked. No. In a shower. No. Soap suds. What kind of soap? Crack of your ass. I mean... Coconut you had, butter. You had me at crack. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, guys, look. Yes, we are... We watched a movie, and we are definitely the bottom tier movie reviewers. But, <laughs> <laughs> but guess what? You can run from it. You can dread it. But destiny finds a way. <laughs> We're going to still bring you this fucking spoiler We're going to turn into an airy-ass hoodie. Of The Last Jedi. And again, we know it's been out for a while, but here we go, because I know you guys wanted us to talk about it. So the first thing, uh, there is no Last Jedi, you fucking lying <laughs> bullshitters. The Last Jedi is just the saying, I think that we all might have... I mean, I was scared going into it because I thought, okay, well maybe they're going to go in a different way. They're not, there's no longer going to be any Jedi or Sith or whatever. And in a way, they do kind of broach that subject later on with Kylo Ren and Rey. Yeah. But overall, it's just dramatic, you know, a dramatic setting for the film, that, or as a title for it. Did you fucking like it? A few pieces of shit. This is how I felt like it. I felt like I liked it, but I almost felt like I was in church and there was something that the priest was saying that was really funny and I probably shouldn't laugh at it because it was inappropriate, but I was like... <laughs> so, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. I, I loved it. No, I, yeah. I loved it, but no. I didn't love so it. Some shit was bad. Dude. Yeah, and it's like... There was some bad shit. Should you fart in church? Maybe. If you're going to crack a fart on the pew and make your friends laugh down the lane. Maybe you should do it, but you shouldn't do it. But it, look, guys, yeah. like, it was different. It was out there. It was totally not, for me, a Star Wars movie as far as what I've been used to as a Star Wars theme or thematic stuff, qualities going in. But it wasn't terrible. It was just there was moments in it that were bad. Yeah. And there were moments in it that were genius. Yeah. And then there were moments in it like, fuck. <sighs> But still, I'm not gonna knock, I'm not gonna knock anybody for fucking doing anything different. And, and and you know the director of this film definitely does something different with it for sure. Mm -hmm. um, I just think there was a lot of parts of it, like my main gripe. And, and, and there's a there's a few little nitpicky things I can go with. But my main gripe is that Mark Hamill is so underused or not used in the effective way that I think he should have been used. Luke Skywalker, Luke fucking Skywalker, yeah. the granddaddy of granddaddy long legs, is not used. I think appropriately. I mean, they use him as much as they can and you do get a lot of interaction with Luke Skywalker and Rey and the training and stuff, but it's just like the way they end Luke, I'm like, what the I said, fuck? Well, that's a big thing right there, but can we just be honest about Mark Hamill for a second? Mm -hmm. I know you don't want to hear it. I know some people are going to be upset and their crotchal regions. Oh, that's bad. That's herpes. Mark Hamill is just not that good of an actor. Like, I love Mark Hamill. Like, he was fucking Luke Skywalker. He's the best Joker voice fucking ever. Yeah, he's... That's all around. Guy. That's his best performance probably ever. Cool guy. Honest to God, some of his acting scenes, like you were talking about, I was sitting in the theater going, oh, fuck, that's kind of laugh... That's almost laughably black. Black, 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 black. That, that's all... It's, some of his acting's almost laughably black. Like, I know... I can't say it bad. Laughably bad. Fuck, I can't either now. You laughably New York. bad. But no, some of his acting scenes are actually, like, really, really bad. Like, mm. like bad cues, like, the, the, the dialogue doesn't hit when it should. He makes funny faces sometimes. He just looks weird. Like, seriously, when he shows up over Kylo Ren and you find out that he was actually... Well, get, set the setting. He doesn't show up over his nephew. I was good. Of I was good. <laughs> he, just, uh, he just shows up over Kylo Ren, like, suck it. When, when, he shows, <laughs> when you find out that he was going to actually, you know, kill emo Kylo Ren in his sleep <laughs> and Kylo wakes up at the fucking Boy Scout meeting he's like dad and he looks up and fucking Mark Hamill looks like Billy Joel Armstrong from Green Day he's got, he's got, he's got fucking eye shit they had a, he could like I feel like he couldn't act menacing enough to make it believable so they put fucking eyeshadow on him and he was like you know, you know what that looked like, dude? When, was, oh, kill when you. he was holding the green lights, they were up to kill Kylo Ren. It looked like the pre workout had just hit. <laughs> you know, it's like, woo! Uh, but anyhow, you know what? It's, it's like, all I was going to say about Kylo Ren. But I love Mark I'm not, I do. We're, 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 we're taking a dump right now on the movie, but later on we're going to flesh it and we're going like to get it. some good stuff I'm at it. I like but it. I also want to talk about Kylo Ren. Really quick about Kylo Ren. Um, Adam Driver is not who it is. Is that who it is? Yeah. 
Fuck yeah, I got it right. Adam Driver is a good actor, okay? I like Sunshine's Adam Driver. Sunshine's on a dog's ass every <clears throat> once in a while. Sunshine, cut rain all the time. Uh, but yeah, I like... <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> You're not Tanaka. You know, I'm not Japanese! <laughs> but anyhow, you know, that's for Bloodsport. Uh, we're going all over the place. But okay, Adam Driver is a good actor, but the problem is with Kylo Ren in this, they do go <clears throat> a little bit... He is really, really emo, man. Like, yeah. I mean, I'm talking about, like, motherfucker, you've been, you've been playing Simple Plan. Welcome to my life. He's been listening to some armor for sleep. Well, He's been doing some Hawthorne Heights. No, but Simple... Because my heart is in Ohio! I hope you hang yourself off something. But I'm just saying, like... Like, God damn, man, stop being so gothic and weird all the time. You're the heir of Vader, and just because... I like it. Just because Baldy Bad, McBaldson like says, you're a child with a mask, and then you get all mad in the elevator, and you're like, fucking mask! Fucking mask! <laughs> and then you're like, I don't eat the mask. Do you guys think it was like a, it was, it was, it was a weird choice, like, based on how bad everybody made fun of Kylo Ren in the first movie, like, when he, when he went on his temper tantrum, but he's like, I'm gonna smash the computer room! Fuck yeah, this computer that, room! Yeah, that was funny. Then. Everybody laughed about that, and then they, they it was pretty ballsy to go with the choice to have him do the exact same fucking thing this time. Snoke's like, you little bitch. Yeah. You little bitch. And, and your <clears throat> shitty fucking mask. And then he was like, you're right. You know what? I got this at Kmart. I shouldn't even Fuck wear it. Fuck this mask. Yeah, but he gets all whiny about it. But anyhow, you know. He, he does the same. He goes on another temper changer. But, but you know, I like Adam Driver. I like Kylo Ren. I'm glad the characters are there. And I, I'm sick. Well, I, well let's go I, back to we talking well, about to Luke. Hang on. I, I'm what? sick. <laughs> I'm glad that the character's kind of weird and emo and like... I do, I do, I hate my father. I, I, I like it, it fucks up the movie a little bit, and it makes the character not that menacing. But I'm sick enough that I, I kind of dig that it's kind of fucked up. You know what? The main, I thing, like it. <clears throat> the main thing about Luke, though, uh, or Mark Hamill, is that again, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna repeat this, and you guys may disagree, and that's okay. I'm glad if you guys fucking loved and dug the shit out of this movie, that's awesome. I, I, I'm glad that you had a great time. Life's a garden, dig it. You know what I mean? But at the same time, I'm Happy gonna say places. people are. Uh, <laughs> some people aren't gonna be happy with it. And it's not because what most people think. Well, oh, because it's too different. It's not that. I just didn't feel that the story itself was conjoined enough for me to be like. I was entertained by the action sequence. The action sequences of this are amazing. They're yeah. fucking amazing. Balls good. Yeah. But the. The problem is, is that when you're talking about the writing, sometimes the writing is all over the place, and sometimes there's forced humor, and sometimes it seems a little overly long. I and mean, there are a lot of it. You're like, you could have cut that bitch out. You could cut this part of the bitch out because you could have special features later on if you wanted to add all that in and release an extended cut. Oh, no, oh, oh, oh we can't go into DC. Oh. But, but I'm saying like. Oh. It just felt Luke Skywalker is so important to the Star Wars franchise. He's so important to the overall like love that you know that Star Wars has gave or given people that to do him like that, like at the end where he yeah. you know uh, projects himself across the get your lazy fucking ass up, Luke, and go. Actually, I feel I feel two ways about that though. Like the fact that that the, and that scene's badass. Like again, this is a poor review, so you've seen it. The scene's badass when Adam Driver's like kill him. Get that man and rape him! <laughs> He's a <up> true <to> me! <laughs> he knows! And they shoot him with the beams, and like, and like, he's like, choo, choo, choo. and the guy's like, do you think you got him? And General, General Hux, he's like, yeah. that's enough, Kylo! <laughs> Stop! Like, Jesus Christ, you're wasting all our fucking batteries on it. When he steps out, he's like, ah. Oh. Like, that was badass. Like, it was corny, but badass. I liked it. Uh, and <clears> I liked the way Mark Hamill looked at that, but he did look too clean. You knew something was up. But, correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm not a Star Wars aficionado. Aficionado? I know this not a grit. One time I had grits. Go get that. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm not a Star Wars aficionado. Do not trick me with your treasures, Gypsy. I'm, I, I don't know a lot about it. I just kind of enjoy the fucking movies for fun. Yeah. Uh, that, that's, that's, that's just me. Um, but, correct me if I'm wrong, but has that ever fucking happened in a Star Wars movie before? What? Where someone just goes, ah, oh, taking a painful shit, and then they project themselves... Yeah, forever. No, away. They, they can do it. I mean, not in the movies. <clears throat> okay, so but in lore, crazy. But no, in lore, they can. They, they just they never make they never that really, shit up. No, it's been. It, no, they've done it. In but the, for the moviegoers, if you're talking about cinematic, no, it's never been shown. Okay, in cinema. no. But as far as like, so y'all just kind of run. But as shit. far as like four shit ago, I mean, yeah, he's powerful enough to be able to project himself in that way. Right. But the problem with that <laughs> is, is that <laughs> when they framed him, though, he was like, I just thought about like. 
He could project. He could project himself anywhere. Damn enchiladas! He could project himself across town and order fucking pizza like that. But but no, he. The way that whole I mean, look, I know we're skipping around again. Fuck it, we're just talking about. It. Is this a spoiler? Um, then they end the motherfucker that quick after he like he's like, Ugh! and he's like that was fucking hard because he'd been floating. He'd been he he had ejaculated so long and so hard with all the force powers that he was just exhausted. He's basically and hackers he, in ninety six. And then he like does this thing and he like gets up off the rock and he's looking around and then he sees the twin sun setting and then you hear the old Star Wars music comes on. And then he fucking disappears. He's like, oh, you had a beer? I'm out. Like, he's just like, ninja finish. And he just goes away. I was like, that's such a poor, I think to me, I know what they were going for. I get it. He extended himself so far and he did so much with the force that he just becomes one with the force. But it, it feels lazy as far as writing goes. And it's like, I've never seen another fucking Jedi that just gives up like that. It's like, almost like, I love the sunsets. Ooh. <laughs> and then it's like, girl, you know it's girl, you know it's girl, you and then he runs off stage. <laughs> but look, he just it took, like I get it. Like he he died, and he became one with the force because he used up so much of his energy. But some people aren't gonna get that. They're gonna Is be it like, true if you don't use it, you lose it. I mean, I want sometimes I want to go up on a recola fucking mountain and go. Huh? <laughs> Luke's virginity finally fucking took over, and it was like, no, dog, you're done. Yeah, we're giving this to someone who's gonna use it. I get what, look, and don't get mad at us, because I know some of you guys are going to get in there and like you're going to start immediately bitching about it, but I'm just talking about the fact that I get what they're doing, the whole circle of life thing, yeah. I get the whole fucking Simba, yeah. Mustafa, because they go back from the original Star Wars when he sees the twin sons, and it all comes back together, and it's all like a fucking, it's, look, it, you know what, poetry's great, but leave it in fucking books. It didn't I want to see my Luke with a green lightsaber fucking some shit up. I like that. And I didn't get it. it, did, it yeah, it didn't land. He just turned into a fucking hoodie with nobody inside of it. You know what I'm saying? Like it's that hoodie like, sucks. Take it back to Hot Topics. Yeah, like, so, and, and, you know it is lazy. It's not. It's almost. It's almost. You can almost say. And I'm not mad. I'm. I'm really not fucking mad. Like I, I just. I want to see a good movie. I'm not a huge Star Wars. It's kind of let down. But yeah, like when you talk about that character, like a, it's um, it, it's loose writing because he just disappears into nothingness. And B, it was kind of ballless because you didn't fucking kill him. Like you didn't have the balls no. to kill him. Like you didn't, you didn't want to make him go out in a, in a blaze of glory. Uh, yeah, it was just like yeah. no, like I, well, I felt it, and 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 he was at peace. Like people don't die like that. People, I mean, people die in they, peace. They, they, they peace, die in their sleep, but yeah. they don't die from fucking turning into a goddamn whispering meadow. Look, that guy, when Mark Hamill came down from floating on that rock, he looked like he had ate, like, three Taco Bell burritos and he needed to take a <laughs> shit. Because he was like... <laughs> but anyhow, look, you know what? I get what they were going for. Again, personally, not what I would have done. Now... Let's interject some positivity. Now, positive, I, I will. I wanna, I'm going to interject. Okay. What I did like about it is I do like the development of Ray. I think Ray develops a little bit better. She's badass, yeah, man. she's great. Yeah. And she's sexy. And uh, Poe. Uh, Oscar Isaac is finally getting yeah. a fucking main, like, you know, focus on him, and, and I think he's great. I think he is definitely worth every goddamn dime dollar that you gave him for this movie, because, again, we, we mentioned this earlier on in The Force Awakens. He was underused in that movie. He really wasn't given enough screen time, and they kind of did the same thing with X-Men Apocalypse. In this one, he kind of gets to showcase a little bit more of his range and what he can do and what he can bring to the table. At the very beginning of the movie, like I mentioned, that's my favorite scene of the entire movie. At the very beginning, when he's using the X-Wing and doing his jokes with Hux, like, I was like, that is exactly what Oscar Isaacs is about. He can do all these cool different uh, characters, and Poe being what Poe originally was supposed to be in the first one, they finally give him that motive and, and uh, transportation to go ahead and do that. Like, he's making fun of Hux. He's like, I'll just hold for Hux. And he's like, I am Hux. He's, he's like, like, I'll hold for Hux. He's like, I, I am Hux. <laughs> that scene was funny. So like, he's the Han Solo's character that this movie needs. Like, yeah. like, Luke is so squeaky clean, and he always was before, that Han Solo played off of him really well. That's what I liked about the movies, because I always loved Han Solo. But in this, uh, he plays that role perfectly. You remember when the toys came out? I know you remember when the toys came out. But the toys you can buy at Walmart, like the six ninety seven tiny little toys that <laughs> yeah. came in the package, they were expensive. When you had just the like the Luke X Wing fighter was my favorite. Like he was like that orange, and then he had that gray packet on or whatever, yeah. like that cream. And and when I would you watch, like that cream, I like that cream <laughs> in your over coffee my face. How's a pale L stippler? <laughs> but uh, I always in the movies I always wanted a little bit more of Luke in the X Fighter doing some badass action hero shit just because that's the way my, my mind was built as a right. kid. And Poe kind of is that. 
Poe is action fucking Jackson in the goddamn X-Wing fighter. He's balls. He's Mel Gibson in fucking Lethal Weapon 1. He's Riggs. He's got a death wish. He's crazy as fuck. I love that character. Yeah, Poe is... Poe, I, I can't wait to see more Poe in, in, at least for what we know, I mean, the last Star Wars of this trilogy anyway. Yeah. You know they're going more to the Star Wars trip. So we're not worried about that, but Poe is definitely a fucking guy to latch on to and see where he's going to go as far as his character development. Because especially, this director at least realized what he had with him, and I think he play off of those strengths that Oscar Isaacs has. Now, um... Badass this, dude. Badass this. Like, I, I'm trying to continue the positive train right yeah, now. Yeah, I'm gonna go start with, negative. Yeah. Badass, the fucking fight scenes were amazing. Like, like when, when Luke does come back and you're on Saltland Earths and he's fighting with Kylo Ren, even though it's kind of laughable because they do the super... Kylo Ren shows up and yeah. like, <laughs> I thought he was going to do some, uh, yeah, but I really was expecting, like, no, I was expecting a lightsaber duel. Uh, you to wanted, end the lightsaber duel. You wanted duel. Phantom Menace, I Dark Moment, yeah. and Cut in Half. I like, too. I wanted that shit, too. You didn't quite get that, but what you did get was pretty dope. And the lightsaber scenes were badass. It is, immediately, when, when people fight with a fucking lightsaber, the movie goes up a point. I mean, it does. Yeah. Like, the lightsaber But he never even pulled out his goddamn no, green one. No other fucking movie can do that, and it's amazing, and that's true. But it is badass when they have that lightsaber fight, and then the other... The scene that really just blew me away cinematically yeah. was the Snoke scene. Snoke, fucking, I hate CGI. We've talked about this before. I hated him in the first one. He looked dope as fuck. He looked good. He looked badass. Uh, the, problem, the problem with Snoke is that Snoke looked fucking like, to me, Hugh Hefner sitting on the goddamn throne. He's like, a little he, he came off, yeah. no, the, his attitude. Like, the way they portrayed him, it was like, I don't really need to do anything but sit here in my gold robe. He looked like he just ate a walk. And then he was like, guess what, bitch? I'm the Sith Master. Yeah. And he's like, show me your face. And then, like, but dude, his decorator had that shit fucking on. It looked lunch. good. It looked good. It as looked fuck. like James Bond was gonna show up early. Like yeah. it was like Skyfall shit. But anyway, um, that was some that public art shit. It wasn't even, but <laughs> yeah, but the snow thing. But Snoke himself was a letdown. Okay, meaning the the fight sequence that happens between yeah. Kylo Ray and him because Kylo brings Ray to Snoke because Ray is convinced that she can save yeah. Ben Solo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, well, God, I mean... I'm just saying it looked I, fucking cool. No, no, it, was, it looked fucking it looked cool. cool. And, but, it, and I was so, I was really invested in what was going on with Ray because they that meeting part, yeah, those part, that, that, that whole thing was great. Ray and Kylo Ren, the, I wanted to go, I kept, they kept going back out to like Finn and this other bullshit. I, we'll yeah, get to that. Yeah. What I wanted more of what was, what the fuck, when I really became interested in the film, when the film was really good to me, when I cared about what the fuck was going on, was when they were talking about what was going on between Kylo and Rey. When they kept meeting because of the Force, yeah. is she going to be dark, is she not? That shit was fucking well, awesome. Well, it's all about her tanning solution. But, uh, so, you know. Do you tan for 12 minutes, 14, you don't want to burn, you, gotta you don't want to brown. You go red lobster. You, you don't want to make it pointless that you win. But she, uh, but when she meets up, you know, I was expecting... You know, especially when the conflict was shown between, you know, with Kylo Ren, that he may very well go back to the light side. Um, he does fuck up Snoke in a very, I think, an anticlimactic way. They just throw away Snoke as a, as a nobody character in a way. I mean, to me, they do. Because they built him up as a very menacing kind of dark character in the first one, and you were expecting that kind of same level of intimidation in the second one. And all Kylo does is when, you know, he's like, my apprentice, kill Rey, or whatever, and he's holding the fucking sword to her, and at the same time, he's spinning the other lightsaber around to fucking, inge you know, to pierce to his side, and then he doesn't even see it coming. Now, I know that you could say, well, it's over, you know, over uh, confidence in himself, which is Palpatine's downfall as well. At the very beginning of the movie, though, when Snoke is reintroduced, and, you know, he's full-on evil, and that's when we were talking about, you know, he... he gains access to Kylo Ren's emo side and makes him feel like shit for not being able to bring him Luke Skywalker or whatever right now. There's one point where Kylo gets pissed at me, tries to run at me, and he uses Force Lightning. And that was the first time, that was the only time in the movie you saw Force Lightning that Snoke could do anything. It, it made me feel like, he's like, motherfucker, I got a bald head! <laughs> <laughs> like, he was like, you ain't gonna fucking come at me. But then, when Kylo does bring Rey, he gets way, like, too sexual about it. He's like, come to me. And, and it was just, like, dude, it, it just... Stop playing with your food. It came off as fucking... I don't know, a goblin or something. He didn't really come off as anything intimidating. And then when... We, the, the, the best part of that whole sequence, though, is really after uh, Kylo joins up with Rey and they fight the guards. That shit was badass. I was like, you know, what's the application process for those fucking guys? Because those guys are badass. <laughs> well, and then the huge fucking... Like, like, it, 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 like for one, I, I like the Snoke death scene. I, I, I just... I, I, he was cool. He was a badass guy. They could have used him more. Like you said, there could have been a lightsaber fight scene or something. Something. I mean, something cool. Or the force lightning. I mean, you could have done a million things with that right. character. I, I dig that whole hero having one tiny little shot and, and pulling it off, even though, you know, Kyle Ren's not a hero. I liked it. The appendix 
lightsaber death. Yeah, but, but it just felt so anticlimactic. No, I get, I get why you didn't like it. It worked for me, but I get why you didn't like it. But what was badass, though, after that, you go back to the whole thing between Kylo and Rey, which is dope as shit. They're standing there, and he, and, and you think that they're going to... We will go to Houston, and we will rule. <laughs> you, think, you think everything's cool now? And she's like, let's go save my friends. And he's like, I kind of just want to hang back and play Call of Duty. I don't really fucking care about but what's going on. But you can play Call of Duty with me. Yeah, like, can, can we just not do that and go to my parents' house for Thanksgiving? <laughs> she was like, I thought she was going to fight. But she was, no, she was considering it for a minute. She was like, uh... <laughs> I mean, your mom makes those fucking crab legs. Those it's are good. Big and Rames just uh, showed up and be like, Fuck them. <laughs> I said, fuck y'all. Yeah. <laughs> but but you, another piece where, and this 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 whole movie is kind of, to me, no one's going to say it, like, critic-wise or anything like that. I think it's, a, I like this movie. I thought it had some events that were really fun and entertaining, but sometimes it was too long. It, it was weirdly edited. It had strange moments in it. Uh, it, it. The story writing was weird. The acting was strange at times. To me, this movie reminded me a lot of the same problems of a movie that we also loved, loved, Batman vs. Superman. But Batman vs. Superman gets fucking shit on and panned for being weird and dark and different and strange and bad. This movie, to me, is the Batman vs. Superman of the Star Wars universe. It has some thinking moments in it, it has some fucked up moments in it, it has some shit that doesn't make sense a little bit, some strange acting. These, This and Batman vs. Superman, to me, are fucking peanut pot. I mean, you know, I, I could, yeah, you could definitely make that argument, and I'd be okay with and that. And I like them both. And the fact is, like, look, I can look at other things too. Um, and I'm, like, again, I'm not trying to concentrate on all the negative. There are, like I said, the, the CGI in this film and the action sequences are done really well. Yeah. But I also want to talk before we and get shit happens. Yeah, That's things, what I love. things happen. It, it flows. Uh, I also want to talk about really quick with Captain Phasma. Again, right. you don't get shit from her. I mean, you get you get more than what you got from The Force Awakens, but she's supposed to be the elite fucking stormtrooper, like the Captain fucking Phasma, and you get more of Captain Jack. Like, <laughs> it's just like she does some cool shit, and then she's dead. Like that. Like, she just get, get you know, thrown out the fucking window. And then you have Finn. Boba Fett kind of died the same way. Though. But no, Finn. but new Cap, yeah, but nobody liked that. But Boba Fett was Boba yeah. Fett. He was at least around for two goddamn movies, and it had... Well, so she, so was she, but yeah. I mean, I agree I, with you. Boba Fett's Boba Fett. Boba Fett popped in my head, and I was like, it's kind of the same shit. But the other thing was is Finn though, and and the Rose character. It's yeah. ridiculous. Like, dude, this was this is really got ridiculous because I like the, the you know the guy that plays Finn. I think he's uh, John Boyega. I think he's a good fucking actor. Yeah. I think the character's cool, but They're wasted. Enough. They don't do like they 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 go with this jokey side to him. They're trying to force him down your throat as almost... They're trying to make him the Han Solo. And he's not coming off as Han Solo. He's not got the swag that Han Solo had. And you know what? Even Poe, in a way, doesn't really have it. Harrison Ford has his own thing. Just don't try to recreate something you can't recreate. But they send him off to this fucking casino planet to get this code breaker because Poe is convinced after Leia gets... Uh, which is that was a badass thing when she gets sucked out of the fucking uh, you know you know she's in space and she uses the force anyway kind of badass kind of corny yeah like, but Leia goes into a coma and in the meantime the bitch from Jurassic Park takes over and is a whore to everybody and tells Poe that he's an asshole and Poe makes up his own plan to save the fleet which is therefore by sending Finn and this other fangirl like you call her a fangirl which is exactly what she has Rose to get this great code breaker from this casino planet, bring them back here to the Dreadnought, unlock the... This is very complicated. This, and this whole thing, these planets spinning around each other, this is where the movie... Uh, and literally, at one point watching the movie, I, I stopped and I went, this... And I didn't end up feeling this way because we got into the fucking... Garancha. The Nethi The Garancha. The Garancha. The we got the balls in our Ray face. Charles Oscos. Um, but we got into it eventually, but at one point when all of this shit's going on, this fucking, as you There's call a it, lot of the it. soggy diaper of the, the movie. soggy diapers. I, I, I literally thought to myself, I was like, this kind of sucks. Like, I, I'm kind of bored right now. I, it's like, it's and like the, too many people are juggling too many fucking bowls. Dude, the just, whole, and the whole thing could have been, it could have been, it could have been fixed with a conversation. Like one bit of communication between the purple haired lady and Poe, where she was like, Actually, I'm taking it here to do these planets to do this. And he would have been like, Oh, I get it. That's a good plan. That makes Finn sense. Finn doesn't have to go over here to the land of we don't know what the fuck to do with your character because we're going to send you on a magical adventure that could have been a Marvel one shot, right? It could have been a fucking Marvel one shot because well, it had nothing to do with this fucking story. And when they do finally like, go. Wasted Finn. When they go to the casino fucking planet or whatever, you know. God damn! 
I mean, I, they're they're really trying at this point to throw fucking humor in your face because you know he's running around like, ah, oh my god, oh, holograms, woo, casinos, and like, and she's like, come on, quit it. We ain't never like, had Taron before. I'm like, damn, this is really Disney at this point. Yeah. And like, even BB-8 running around this fucking like obvious CGI little fucking thing comes up. He's like, coin, coin, and dude. It's like, stop! And then they go out there and they see these slaves. Now, you like this part, but my point is, is I think it feels too forced in. It feels like I'm watching Oliver goddamn twist. The whole thing, the whole thing, you're, you're in fucking Star Wars, and then you got Oliver Twist. You got a story about Oliver Twist. Was it fucking orphan kid? Was it not the same scene in Guardians of the Galaxy 2 when um, they had to count on Baby Groot to bail him out? Yeah. Like, that, yeah. That, that, that same sort of thing. And I did like the slave order. I, I like the kind of story it told, because you got this never ending story, motherfucking puppies. You know they're cute, and I, I, I like the slave idea. Like they, they free you know the what slaves. I, but again, I would gladly fucking sacrifice that little tiny thing I thought was kind of cute and liked for this entire twenty-five minute segment to be ejected from the film because it did not need to be there. There was so much other things going on that I wanted to watch when I was watching this shit. I was just like, how much fucking like when are we through this bullshit? Like I don't give a fuck. Like it wasn't interesting to me. And when they grab up Benicio del Toro, who plays the the. Well, his name's DJ, but the code breaker, he's all right. I like, I mean, he's a great actor. I mean, I think he plays the swag part. Now, he does have the swag part down for Han Solo because he doesn't give a fuck. He sells yeah. to both sides, and he actually explains himself to their benefit really well. Look, I hope the, he shows up again later. Yeah, because I think he, you know, when they get on, you know, they steal the ship and they get off the planet and he takes Finn and Rose with him and BB-8. Of course, you can't leave BB-8. He's like saying, look. This ship belonged to this guy. He was an arms dealer. He sold to the Empire, and then Finn's like, oh, you know, piece of shit. He's like, oh, but look, he sold X-Wing fighters. He's like, so there is no good and right side. They Back sell to the Rogue One thing. Yeah, I yeah. like that idea. Like, yeah. you know, that showing him, like, this war, it's about who's going to make the money. They both make money, and they both are buying arms. So it's not like there's any good guy or bad guy if you're, if you're in the neutral. So that was a good character. I do like that character. I hope you, like you said, they explore more. But other than that, that's the only maybe bright spot of that whole fucking scene. Them going through it and then talking to Rose and what this means and that. The, dude, yeah. like they could have cut that whole fucking thing out. Like yeah. they could, and they could just found DJ movie, the movie somewhere else. Would have been better. And most isolated. They just, dude, they didn't know what to do with Finn. They had this the storyline with Poe. They had all this stuff going on. You've got the characters of old, Carrie Fisher. We'll get to that in a oh, second. Oh, yeah, got you. Got, you got the characters of old, you got the characters of new, they have all the stuff they're trying to do, and, like, if they were being honest, they would tell you, we didn't know what the fuck to do with Finn. It's a great character, we didn't want to leave him out, we knew people would be pissed, so we created this side story that just didn't fucking matter. It could have been cleared up with a conversation. We created a character that didn't fucking it's like matter. If you're, if you're, it's like if you were playing an RPG and it's optional side mission. You're like, oh, I don't have to do that. I don't have to do that optional yeah. side, but I want the credits. Lord Dern <laughs> coming out, uh, the purple-haired woman, if you don't know what Lord Dern is, coming out. Her, Jurassic her Park. Her character is pointless. And you think that, okay, this isn't out for them to kill Carrie Fisher. Like, Kylo didn't do it. Like, you thought he was going thought, to, yeah. he took his finger off the trigger, just like The Rock with uh, Nicolas Cage. He was sitting out there with his green flares, just like, fucking, let's pull go. Pull up, God damn it! pull he, up! They didn't, they, they didn't do it. And, and again, you killed off Mark Hamill, you killed off Luke Skywalker. Uh, no, you killed off Han Solo, and you killed off Luke Skywalker. Well, I know, I meant... Uh, you said Mark Hamill. I said Mark Hamill's I, alive. I said what I meant to say. <laughs> yeah, right. Mark Hamill's alive. You, you kill off Luke Skywalker, but yeah. you left Carrie Fisher alive. So, what? The, the, this is what my what are you gonna do? I think the most disrespectful thing you can do, because if you left her alive going into the third one, are you going to CG your fucking face onto another actress and then kill her off? Because at this point, look, I know that she might have, look, they might have already been done with her scenes before she died, and then that kind of creates a problem. You go back and you fix that fucking issue. You can go back and reshoot a thing, even though it's going to cost you money and time, that would be appropriate to do rather than go into a third movie, which is you're going to make, and then CG her fucking face onto another body or, or something yeah. and say, oh, yeah, that's a, then we're going to kill her off. Look, the main gripe I have against this movie, I mean, and it's my main gripe, well, one of my main gripes, but you guys wasted an opportunity with Mark Hamill. I really, really think you did because Luke Skywalker has always been like such an, like a, a main focal point, a black hole of greatness for the Star Wars franchise. And I can understand why you would focus on the newer heroes and you don't want people just going to see the movies for Chewbacca or Han Solo or Luke Skywalker or Leia. I get that. But 
killing it off in the way that you did is fucking completely to me. And I know why you did poetic wise, but lazily, lazy, lazy done. I mean, writing. Give him, like you said, an epic out. Give him something to fucking go out with a bang. Don't just have him float up. I'm fucking. I'm pretty tired. I think I'm gonna go home now. Like fucking Forrest Gump getting tired of running. But do you think that maybe, maybe, and I just, I just now thought of maybe, maybe he doesn't come back up as a Force Ghost. Maybe he actually shows up at the end of three and saves the fucking he day. He can't. Well, I, you know what? Maybe, maybe, maybe he found a new Force power where he can fucking disappear like Ninja. I don't know. I doubt it because he seems like he died because Ray says I felt him go. So that's the problem. She said she felt him go, and Leia, his own sister, said the same thing. Now I also want to point out really quick. Uh, we'll get back to what you were going to say. I know you had more to say. Uh, but I want to say I did enjoy the scene. Um, maybe you didn't like it as much, but I did like it with Yoda. That's what I was going to talk about. I do like Yoda. I did like Yoda showing up because I loved fucking that whole tie back and the fact that he gets to see him and stuff. Now, would it have been cooler to see Ewan McGregor as Obi-Wan? Maybe, yeah. I mean, okay. But I like Yoda, and I fucking thought that whole, you know, what he was trying to tell him was like, because Luke in this movie is basically fucking done. Like, you know, he's ba he's the Batman of this universe. So, like, yeah. he's like, I don't want to do anything anymore. I don't want to fucking try to... He's cut himself off the Force, even. Like, he doesn't even use the Force. He's like, I'm just done with this shit. Gives me the shits. Yeah, you know, it, it definitely gives me the wrong, like, Gold Star Chili. But Yoda's like, always Luke. You know, he's like, you look to the horizons, never to the here and now, which is kind of what he said in Empire Strikes Back. He's like, you know, never looking here, always to the future. Like, that's what he was doing. He was always looking to the future, not... Focusing on the here and now, and I did. I did like this scene. I know you didn't like it because of you know. Well, let me say it, bitch. I'm gonna let you say it, bitch. <laughs> the scene, the, the idea behind the scene's fine, mm. but he looks like shit. I, I just thought little. I thought you know, looks like it. dog shit. I think he looked like a blue knee high. I bought the knee high. It's a soda pop. <laughs> I, I, I thought he looked like shit, and he didn't even sound like Yoda to me. Like we we argued about this. Like uh, maybe I don't know who's right or who's wrong, but to me he didn't even sound like Yoda. He didn't look like Yoda. He looked like shit. I didn't like it. But um, going back to the whole fucking the the the, the uh, bad baby, bad baby, the clapping. <laughs> Which one are you talking about? Finn? <laughs> no, I forgot what I was gonna say. Uh, I had something. That's ask. fun. Oh no no no! That's what I want to say. Mark Hamill. Weird fuck, weird as shit. Weird as shit, and we'll be done with Mark Hamill. A, I laughed out loud in the theater and embarrassed myself amidst a packed theater of Star Wars hardcores. Um, Starcore. Starcore? <laughs> Starcore. It's the newest. So, no, that's the new is nerd metal. No, that sounds like a bullshit WCW main event. <laughs> Starcore. Yeah. Next weekend. Stop I, I, in I, order. I laughed out loud and I'm sure got multiple dirty looks, but when he was doing that fucking uh, library and bookshelf thing, killing fish and like throwing them, I was like, this is fucking. <laughs> and, and then he goes up to this weird fucking animal and puts a jug up to its titty and he takes a drink of this green titty juice and then he looks. Just what's fucked up is why did he look at Ray? I don't, he took it, he went. <laughs> I know I did I did I did say the all I did uh, I was with a friend of mine but I did this I, I said it audibly because <laughs> it got quiet and he took the swig and I'm like you nasty <laughs> like, he's like you <laughs> fucking rob look, zombie motherfucker look, but you no know, like with his hair all fucked up like he, like, he has he, really, he went he like he, he went over and he was like <sighs> and he raised it up there on the mountain he was like. <sighs> <laughs> he looked at her. He wanted her to see how fucked up he was. I know. He's like, taste the rainbow. You look like, bitch. You look like Johnny Depp in I know. that video with Amber Heard. He was like, I'll show you fucking crazy. He was kind of like, pours his wine. He's kind of like, 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 like uh, so you want me to still train you? I don't care. I'll, I'll take this titty juice. I drink that titty juice from a weird fucking camel fat bitch. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, yeah. I don't know what. Look, you know what? I could, I, could, I could have forgiven those those parts. And look, I'm also gonna say. Kind of the backstory of Luke, though, about training uh, Kylo Ren and, and all that stuff. Ba you know, despite the fact that it made him look like Billy from I Green that. Day. I liked it. Yeah, I did yeah. like that. And I, I even like the fact that he admits that he gave in to fear. Yeah. That he, he, he sensed the evil in Kylo. And for a brief moment, not like the way that Kylo remembers it, but for a brief second, he wanted to end him. Because he didn't want that to, like, you know, foster into something worse. The people. Foster the people. <laughs> uh, uh, but anyhow, uh, <laughs> all the little. Anyway. Fish so, the anyway. Tell us a barrel. Tell us a fish. <laughs> no, people are fish. Tell us a barrel. <laughs> fish the barrel. Uh, so, anyway, uh, so the, I, the overall, I, I love seeing Mark Hamill with 
a huge role in this, but I really was disappointed in how they utilized Mark Hamill how in this. Awkward he was. And, and how they ended the legacy of Luke Skywalker. Yeah. To me personally, I don't think they ended it in the right way. But you know, that's a debatable thing because a lot of people loved it and a lot of people hated it and a lot of people were in the middle about it. I personally didn't like it. I think it was a, a very slap in the face, lazy writing kind of thing to end him with because of how much and how important he's been to the franchise overall. To just write him off like he fucking disappears into nothingness. Even yeah. though you made a great... Look, again, keep the poetry in the book and give me some good shit, okay? I don't give a fuck about the goddamn metaphysical bullshit that you were trying to go with. I'm Yoga. not into that. Uh, but anyhow... Um, and then, and then, and then, and then, but, you know, it's not just that. It's Finn, too. Uh, like you said, Finn was another character. They didn't know how to really incorporate him into the story, except that he was lovelorn for Rey and was had he had to go do something... To keep himself busy, so they created something for him while Ray's getting, you know, being badass. Driver with Kylo Ren, I mean, he's still, he's the same guy that he was in the first one, so I'm not really seeing much character development, except that he's got a little bit more turmoil, but he was he was torn in the first one, so I'm not, I didn't see much improvement overall, like, he's the same guy. Uh, but I love fucking Poe, I think Poe definitely had a bigger stage to perform on, and Oscar Isaacs definitely deserves it, and I, I'm glad that he got that, because he definitely, for me, he does develop into more, you can see what he is, like, yeah. he's not just, he's a jokester, and he's a guy that doesn't really take it seriously, but he also believes in what they're doing, and will go the extra mile and give himself all the way to whatever it may be. And I also, you know, do, even though he has a small part, I do like Benicio Del Toro. I do like the character. I don't know why. I just liked him. Yeah. I mean, even though he goes, G -g 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 giggity, I, I do like it him. Felt way too like, and then maybe this is the collector thing. I don't know, but he felt way too Marvel Universe. Like it didn't feel Star Wars. I don't know. Just I don't. I, I don't. I just it didn't do. It. There's something. There's something very unique about this movie, and I mean, it definitely requires a second viewing. Like it's not like I mean, you couldn't just go and watch this movie one time. And then I mean, we're reviewing it, watching it one time. It definitely review. It requires you to watch it at least two times to, or three times to see really where you feel. But right now, snap judgment. Um, I'm gonna give it a 7.5, and, and that's where I'm gonna stick with it. I, I even like the Force Awakens better. And I'm I, look, guys. I, I know some of you guys are passionate about this, and I, I've seen some of your responses about how much you loved it. And that's great, man. I'm glad that you guys had a great and a blasty blast with it. But personally speaking, I think that they could have done more with it, and I think they missed an opportunity to do more with it. But at the same time, I recognize it for its its good stuff and, and the, what it brought overall. I just think that they misused some characters. But a 7.5 is a solid score. And I, I can't wait to see the third one. But it doesn't it doesn't lessen anybody else. Look, if you loved it, you loved it. If you hated it, you hated it. It's okay. Don't worry about it. We're all going to be friends together and fuck in the morning. So let's just worry about that. <laughs> Listen, they're going to do 100 of these movies. It's going to be fine. You know? Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna, the, Disney owns this. They're going to pump that shit out. It's not like one of those movies. Like, this is the last one or whatever. But uh, I go to 7.5 also. Like, dead on with you on that. And, and, and the reason I do is because I like this movie. Like, I enjoy, as a movie, like, 7.5, it's, it's, it's a high it's score. score yeah. I like the movie. Like, I like that the movie's a little fucked up. I like that as a Star Wars movie, it's a little dark and it's a little weird. And it's not that perfect, happy, like, you know, uh, uh, a goody two shoes kid. I like that it's a little fucked up and strange. But as a movie, you gotta look at it and be like, there's some bad acting in this. There's some terrible story writing here. There's some veering here. Something itchy the, is in my future. The only thing non entertaining about the fucking movie that I don't like, like, some of it's bad but still entertaining. The only thing non entertaining about the movie is its running time and, uh, the, some of the writing just veers off in places I don't fuck about. Would you ever say how how crazy is that to find yourself being a Star Wars fan saying the running time is too much? Yeah, but it's true. I mean, even those movies can go overboard. Yeah. Like they, they because they're adding in so much stuff and it's it's pointless to. By the way, um, I'm not gonna go over every plot hole that I saw in the movie. But one of the main things I want to do talk about really fast is that when Luke is recounting or recanting to Ray about what happened the night that him and Ben Solo broke up for the prom, he says that when he burned down the Jedi Temple, he also took five students away with him, and then he killed the rest. We don't even know where those five... Like, it was never addressed or even broached no, no. one more time. Now, unless you're going to say... Probably it on purpose. Well, no, maybe for later movies. But but it, but as a, as the character of uh, the character of Snow being all powerful and all seeing, and what Kylo Ren is, where would you fucking take him? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like he's already been corrupting you, and you took five students from the. Were they the guards? 
Were they the fucking Royal Guards? That's stupid. If, if you wasted that. But either way, look, dude, there's just a lot of things that maybe the third will clear up, but... What, what I was going to say, though, is, is at, the, at the end of the day, like, the movie's, it, it's dark and it's a little bit fucked up, and that, that's kind of what I like about it. <laughs> but there, there's, there's some bad shit in it, too. Uh, you like The Force Awakens better, though? I like The Force Awakens. I think The For Force Awakens is better. I don't know upon further viewings if I'm going to end up liking this movie yeah, more. Yeah, that's, that's what it takes. But, but I think that um, I, I, I enjoy that this movie exists, and I'm glad it was added to the Star Wars, Wars ethos. Uh, and, and my favorite part about this movie is that shit happens. Things do change. What I love about this that I didn't love about The Force Awakens, what this holds over it, is that it took the story into new directions. New shit's happening. We're going into new territory here. Force Awakens didn't really do that, and I do like that about this. Question of the day that I have for you guys is obviously how are Do you like macaroni and cheese or green beans? It's important. But whatever questions you or whatever things you want to say, because everybody has an opinion about a movie like this, comment down below and let us know. The, what I want to know though is which of the fucking new super goddamn cute and cuddly creatures that they brought bring into this would you keep if you could pick one? I'm going with the never ending story slave horse. But I, but that oh, those, uh, those, uh, uh, close uh, uh, honorable mention is that fucking ice dog. Can you not imagine the shits those horses would have? Yeah, in but the I, yard? I like that ice dog because when it runs by you, that's the, the ice dog. You'll hear it go. No, not the ice you'll dog. You'll hear it crinkle. You said horse is your first one. It was cute. I would take that little goddamn. And I feel like you could ride it. I would. I take that little cuddly bitch that Chewbacca made friends with. Yeah, the little bald. Uh, Cause those yeah. are those are easy to take. I just look like a penguin cat. Fuck it, I'll take it. Because they're, they're easy. To king They're easy to take care of. And, you know, they're shit. They, they probably poop pellets. Yeah. So that's an easy clean up. That's, so. that's an easy clean up. Comment down below. Let us know we love your fucking faces. And if you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button and get some. God. Get it out, bitch. Damn, way of opinion. There you go. Damn. Gotta squeeze it. Snoke. We watched a movie. Yeah. We watched a movie. We watched the movie. Yeah. You know what? We did review. We watched the movie. Uh huh. We watched the movie. We watched the movie. Yeah. We watched the movie. We watched it. We watched the movie. We watched a movie. We watched a movie.